Activity 1. Get a grip. Now you have built your collector arm, let's write a program to use it. Before we get started, check to be sure that your collector arm is hooked up to port A. From the lobby, click on the plus sign to make a new project. In order to organize all of our work, let's save the project and name it 4H Book 2 Projects. You can also rename this program. Double click on the word program in the tab. Change the name to get a grip. For book two, we will just create new programs within the project. To create this program, we will be using blocks from the action palette, the flow control palette, and the sensor palette. From the sensor palette, locate the motor rotation block and connect it to the start block. We are adding this so that we can keep track of how far our robot has gone so we can bring it back again easily. Make sure it is set to reset and that it is checking the B port. Now if the robot moves forward, it will count how many rotations the motor has made. Next, we will add a loop. Inside of this loop, we need a move steering block. The motor should be on and set to 50. The steering should be set to zero. That way it will move straight forward. If we left it this way, the robot would just move forward forever. We only want the robot to move forward until it senses something close enough to collect. At the end of the loop, let's change the type from unlimited to ultrasonic sensor and choose distance centimeters. We need to change the compare type to less than or equal to. Then we will change the threshold value to four. This simply means that the robot will stay in this loop until it senses something four centimeters in front of the ultrasonic sensor. When it sees something, we need to stop the motors moving the robot forward. Drag a move steering block after the loop and change the motor to off. When it does finally reach the object to collect, we need to move our collector arm down to trap the object. To do this, we need to use the medium motor block in our action palette. Drag this behind the loop we just finished and set the type to on for seconds. The motor power should be set to negative 30 and the time should be set to 0.5 seconds. We also want to make sure the motor brake is set on. This should collect our object. Now we just need to bring our rover back to the starting point. To do this, we need to add a loop in again after the medium motor block. Inside of it, we will put in a move steering block, which will be set to on. But this time the motor power will be set to minus 50, which will make our robot move backwards. In order to make it stop right where it started, we need to change the loop type to motor rotations and have it compare rotations. Because the robot already kept track of how many rotations it took to get there, we just need to count back to zero for the motor rotations. To do this, we need to change the compare type to less than or equal to and the threshold value to zero. Be sure to change the port to B so it keeps track of the correct motor. Be sure to save your work. Connect your robot to your computer and download the program. Unplug your robot and run the program. Now look in your book for some ways to revise this program and then move on to the next section.